cold, lonely heart. They shake and they shiver like trees in the wind, and mine was the sun. Buried deep in snow, asleep in the winter, but something in the air now tells me everything has changed. Like I am lost inside of a dream, though I know that I what can it be? It must be spring. And now as far as the eye can see is a beauty that's hard to explain. I feel it wash over me. It must be spring. I, like many fools, thought I knew better. That life would always be cold and gray. Little did I know it was only the weather, and the weather's getting better and better day by day. And though I'd lost any sign of a hope, I now can feel it return like the birds who fly back north to love and sing. I feel my heart starting to melt and my words starting to turn into a melody. It must be spring. Da 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 Spring, it must be spring, it must be So it kind of came suddenly, but um, so I wrote it end of February when it was still kind of gray, but you can, it's that time of winter where you feel that something's happening. And um, so I just woke up one morning and I had this melody in my head and I sleepily recorded it into my phone like <laughs> and uh and I was like oh this could be something and and I had just written a song about winter and snow and I thought wow this is so obvious I should write a song about spring especially because you know we've been referring to this time this past year as like a dark winter and you know uh with, with all that's going on, like there's there's hope again. So, I mean, yeah, it, it's a nice non-obvious way of, of non-literal way of talking about, about what we've been going through. You know, I think the, the state of mind between half dreaming and half awake is, is a great place to not have that judgmental voice tell you whether an idea is good or bad. I've also, um, you know, have you ever dreamt a song? Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, well, sometimes that happens. I'm like, yeah. Uh, so every song is different. Um, so I, I did write 
sometimes I'll write a song using an instrument. So I'll just come up with, I'll just, you know, come up with the ditty and then, you know, evolve that idea. Sometimes like a, a lot of the songs that I wrote in February were um, me writing them in a very different way, which was uh, on piano and the words were written on a, a laptop. So um, much more like mental than sort of, um, you know, in a dream state or on my guitar ukulele. So, uh, but you know, it, it, does, it does happen that, that it just blooms, the idea pops into my head, um, like this song. Um, yeah, so it, it just depends on the situation. I think, well, for the first year, I wasn't, I was more um, focused on releasing stuff that I had already recorded. And um, so I wasn't really in the mood to write. Uh, and so I was just absorbing information as well. So just getting better at, um, you know, being a musician and learning my craft better and then reading and watching movies and just taking everything in. Um, but with this commission, it was kind of like, you have a deadline. <laughs> and uh, I had all these half finished songs that, you know, I was thinking, oh, I'll eventually write them. But this actually forced me to finish them. Uh, so it, it did, I ended up, it sort of broke a, a seal where I just started to, you know, flood out all these songs. And then, and now that spring is happening, it's sort of making me want to, you know, put that out into the world. So I'm really getting into recording now. And, and actually the song that I filmed, I'm finishing up, uh, finalizing a recording of it, which is, really kind of different different from what I normally do and I'm really excited to get it out into the world so I hope it'll be out in you know the next few weeks um and I and I have so many ideas for other things that I want to do so in, in a way I feel like the pandemic year and counting uh it has sort of opened up uh barriers I think in a way because I'm not focusing so much on performing um, and I'm just, uh, I don't know, we live in the age of the internet where we can just do whatever, whatever we want. <laughs> and I, I think it's kind of liberating in a way. So uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm feeling good about it. Like there's a line that says, <clears throat> I like many fools thought I knew better that life would always be cold and gray. Little did I know it was only the weather and the weather's getting better and better day by day. <laughs> um, I think that's, uh, that's sort of like, it reminds me a little bit of the, the Mark Twain quote, which is, uh, I've lived through some terrible things. Uh, some, wait, I've lived through some terrible things, some of which actually happened and I think that, you know, we always think that what we're living through at the moment is going gonna, is gonna to be how it always is going to be. And, uh, you know, when we're sick, we can't remember what it, how, like, we can't imagine what it feels like to be healthy. And when we're healthy, we can't imagine what it feels like to be sick. And, um, you know, likewise with, with, you know, we can't imagine going back to the world the way it was before. And, we don't remember what it's like to be happy, maybe, but, uh, you know, you know, there are lots of songs about how, you know, it's always darkest before the dawn or, you know, tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow will be kinder. The sun will come out tomorrow, you know, so it's, it's kind of touching upon that. Um, you know, every, everything happens for a reason. Everything's temporary. This, this life is temporary and we just have to keep that in mind and have hope always, so.